Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you are enjoying the Key West World Championship Powerboat Races. We're going to spend a couple of moments right now talking about the fastest offshore racing catamaran in the world. It is also a seven-time world champion. If you haven't guessed it, I am talking about Miss Geico. After this video, I'm going to be talking with the driver of Miss Geico, who's hoping to steer it towards another world title. Once you've experienced a ride in an offshore powerboat, big blocks turn on. The sound of the power and then the speed. For the rest of your life, you will never ever forget it. I'm Mark Granite, driver, world champion Miss Geico offshore race boat. Every weekend, you know, we all met and we were out racing and running our boats. I never thought for a moment it would be what my profession was. You got to learn how to win. Put together the right team and the people around you that can help take each step to become a champion. This crew works from 8 in the morning till 10 at night. Six, seven days a week. Dedication to common goal to win that's it to win offshore powerboat racing is unique there's a throttle man and a driver traveling at close to a football field a second They are some really, really bright guys. And even then, things can go horribly wrong. The golf shore racing is the most deadly motorsport there is, period. You know, we've lost a lot of friends. And those are tremendously difficult moments. Open it. 
Market. It's such a pleasure to have you here this morning. Thank you for joining me on the show. Now, you are definitely a favorite in Key West. So what does it feel like to be back? I would love coming to Key West. Uh, you know, as I said, any, any, anybody who's come here knows it's a very, very special place. Um, just driving across the bridges to get here uh, puts you in that mode. You have sunshine and beautiful water. Uh, it's the island. And, and the people that are here this week, race week, speed week, um, are all about being out on their boats and going fast and the love of, of, of the beautiful water and sunshine. So it, it's a tremendous week. We look forward to it all year long and that's why I think the hotels are all full this week, you know? They are. They absolutely are because everybody loves coming down for the championships. Mark, you blew them away on opening day. How do you feel about day one? Well, day one um, didn't just come from, from showing up and, and going out and racing. Uh, we have uh, had a very, very long season. Our season started uh, in the springtime, and uh, we've been racing throughout the summertime uh, into the fall. Uh, just getting ready for Key West, we spent hours and hours testing and practicing. So um, our crew did just such a tremendous job preparing the boat for this event. Um, we probably had 15 plus hours just sitting in the boat testing different propellers, different weights, getting the boat ready to handle the water here. Key West is notorious for you know, either being very, very smooth and flat or unbelievably rough. Yesterday, Mother Nature, Nature gave us rough. Mm -hmm. And now how does your strategy change depending on those conditions, Mark? Well, a great race team uh, prepares and, uh, to win. They don't just show up and say, all right, well, we're going to test and we're going to see what, what happens here today. Um, our team spent and, and watched the weather weeks in advance. So we were watching what was happening. We were looking at the fronts as they were coming through, and we were considering what we would do with the boat for these conditions. So we knew what propellers we would run. We knew where we wanted to wait if it was this height, and we knew there. So a l I, I have to tell you, the, the being able to run the boat, run the boat the way we did yesterday was all the crew giving us something that is, uh, you know, was easy to handle, easy for us to maintain. Um, it was a very, very difficult race, but they made it as easy as possible. Mark, Key West is notorious for bad things sometimes happening during race week. Is that something that's always on the back of your mind before you get into Miss Geico? Yeah, well, listen, Miss Geico is, is one of the fastest boats in the world, one of the fastest offshore race boats in the world. Um, it, it is inherently dangerous to race. You're pushing the limits, whether it's an automobile or a motorcycle, um, or in our case, a, a powerboat. So, so you have to have a healthy dose of, of reality and fear as you go into a race, especially a championship race. I mean, these guys are the best in the world. They're coming from around the world to see who is the king of the water. Um, and that's something that Key West should be proud of because you know, other cities have tried to go there, but Key West is just one of those places that has held on to being the capital of, of offshore power boating. So you know, the, the answer to your question is, is in any of one of our minds, any of the offshore racers that I race against and the ones that race in the other classes, we do think about it. Um, you, you think about it very, very carefully. Uh, these are our friends that have been out there, have had uh, uh, very, very difficult days. Um, you see what happens in testing, you know, a couple of uh, uh, boats went over. But today, you know, race day, we've we really got a good clear mindset. We know what we need to do. We'll run the boat right where we need to. If we get pressed and we need to push harder, um, we will, but we'll do it within the bounds of, uh, of what the capabilities of the boat are. Can you kind of describe what it's like to get into Miss Geico right before you start the race? <laughs> you know, all right. I will tell you honestly what it's like. It is the most terrifying thing you can think of, all right? The, the time that it takes between sitting, especially in Key West, before you race, all right? The wait is the hardest part. I think most racers will tell you that. The wait to get out and do what you know you can do mm -hmm. because you have to sit and ponder and you, you think about all the variables that happen. What happened? Did the wind change? Where is the tide? Is the tide going? geez, what, what's this in the water over here? The wind is beginning to change. It's picking up again. And you're thinking about all this. All the while, you're looking at your competitors. And these are pretty ominous boats. You know, they're mm -hmm. 50 feet long. They're three to 4,000 horsepower. Um, you know, it's, they are tremendously powerful and tremendously fast machines. So all that is coming in, you know, to your senses, and you're kind of trying to digest it. So there's, a, there's definitely a lot of... Uh, 
of uh, emotion that, mm -hmm. that you go through as you sit into Miss Geico. But once you're in and the crew strapped you in and you know, you're going through your checklists and making sure that everything is right, it, then it becomes, uh, to use the analogies like riding a bicycle, you start mm -hmm. to go into your place. Mm -hmm. um, as we mill and as we prepare to get ready to go and race the powerboat, um, we are talking to the crew, they're preparing us, they're looking at our data, they're talking to us and they're keeping us cool. As we go out of the milling circle and get ready to race, then it, it absolutely, we go into the zone. Everything kind of starts to narrow down in our focus. We become very, very, very uh, focused on where we're going and what lines we're going because the speed that we're going to carry out of the channel is generally pretty excessive. Um, and once the green flag drops, you know, we're, we're just in a happy place. There's mm -hmm. massive dose of testosterone um, and uh, um, adrenaline all mixed in together. And it, uh, it's, it's a high that is very, very difficult to compete with anywhere else, you know? I am sure about that. Well, Mark, it has been a pleasure talking with you this morning. I look forward to seeing you out there today and Sunday. Best of luck Thank to you, so you much. and your team. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages.